And a new warning, health officials are urging first responders to take caution after a sudden spike of overdose incidents over the past few days. Nine on your side's Jake Ryle joins us with a surprising trend heroin experts are beginning to see. Jake? Well, when you think of fentanyl and carfentanil, the first thought that might come into mind would be that it's linked to heroin. But what about meth? Drug experts I spoke with say the trend of lacing meth and fentanyl is on the rise. Newtown Police Chief Tom Sinan remembers the day in 2016. And carfentanil hit the streets in 2016. And I was getting reports, Cincinnati police were calling and texting me saying, hey, something's going on. We're seeing all these overdoses. 200 overdoses, three deaths. But we were anticipating much more. We were to anticipating mass casualties. Since then, the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition has been trying to stay ahead of the curve, but it's been tough. We didn't anticipate it moving from pills to heroin. We didn't anticipate it to move from heroin to synthetics. We didn't anticipate it to move from the synthetics of fentanyl. Now fentanyl has hundreds, if not thousands of derivatives. 36 emergency department visits for overdose victims over a three day period in Hamilton County. It's caught the attention of Chief Sinan, who points to a new drug cocktail with deadly consequences. There's been a lot of talk about methamphetamine and cocaine coming up, and it has. And there's no doubt that that's taken a chunk out of the overdoses we're seeing. Um, because they're different drugs. He says half of the overdoses with cocaine and meth involve fentanyl. So it's still out there. It's still a danger. It's still the probably the number one cause of people overdosing, the number one cause of people dying from those overdoses. So we still got to be on guard, still pay attention to it. The alert hoping to make first responders and anyone who comes in contact aware of the dangers that come with the drugs. What we want every first responder to do is go home that night. And if it means that you wear a mask, you wear a gloves and nothing happens, like, that's great. And last year, 529 people died from overdose in Hamilton County. Officials tell me that number is on track to be down this year. They're hoping to bring more awareness and save lives. Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.